Well-known faces arrived at the Cathedral of Christ the King in Mullingar this morning for showbiz legend Joe Dolan's farewell appearance. Figures from the world of music and entertainment coming to pay their respects to the voice of the show band era who managed to appeal to young and old. They lined up alongside politicians, sporting heroes and funny men, while the Taoiseach and President McAleese were represented by their aide-de-camp. Inside, a congregation of over 2,000 gathered for the funeral mass. A niece of Joe's sang at the service. Later, Father Brian Darcy paid tribute to a friend and spoke of his charity. Joe would shake hands, and in his hand would be um, several very large notes. And he'd always said to me, Brian, I wish you'd keep that for yourself. I know you won't, but you know who the poor are. And every time I met Joe Dolan, that's what he did. Joe would have given me, I'm sure, thousands, maybe tens of thousands. There was spontaneous laughter and applause as anecdotes were shared with friends and fans. You are one of the happiest people I ever met. I'm sorry that you're sad and dead. But all of us know that nobody ever dies. They go to a new way of living. And Joe, as he said when he recorded the Oasis song, now lives forever. God rest you, Joe. Thanks. A last encore for the showman as his coffin was carried through the crowds by family members. Serenaded for the very last time by his fans, the hearse carrying Joe Dolan's body began its journey through the packed streets of Mullingar to Walshtown Cemetery just outside town to lay to rest the town's favourite son, Claire Brock, TV3 News.